Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to solve set of differential equation using an excel sheet. So I will be using an analytical approach to solve these differential equations. Uh, for this uh, particular uh, video tutorial I have used the example of diffusion. Uh, here I have defined two chambers, uh, inside chamber and outside chamber. So there is a concentration of C in, in the inside chamber and C out in the outside chamber. The outside chamber, uh, chamber is exposed to air so it the things in the outside chamber can diffuse uh, to open air with the diffusion coefficient of k dash and from diffusion can occur from inside to outside with the diffusion coefficient of k double dash and these are the differential equations and uh, this are pretty standard differential uh, equation for diffusion where uh, change in the concentration is proportional to the concentration difference uh, from where the diffusion is occurring and uh, to solve this differential equation uh, analytically we need to uh, go to a very small time scale and if we go to very small time scale of dt then we can rewrite this differential equation again uh, in this form so here instead of writing dt i am writing c in at t is equal to t minus c in at t is equal to t minus dt so here i am saying that uh, if i assume a very small time scale scales for example 1 millisecond or 10 millisecond then uh, I can just uh, assume that uh, dc is just a sub uh, subtraction of c uh, at a um, forward time minus c uh, at present time and similarly uh, instead of writing c in I can say that uh, c in is uh, something at the backward time so I can write these equations like this now to solve this uh, equation I need to define k double dash so let's call k double dash is equal to 1 and uh, k dash uh, is equal to uh, 2 so these are the arbitrary numbers you can change it later if you like and then let's define dt and dt is equal to 0 0.01 here so let me write 0 0.01 0 0.01 now uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll first define t so t uh, so I'll say t and t is equal to 0 in the beginning so at t is 0 t is 0 so let me and then uh, let's define uh, c uh, in and then c out so let me center them um, yes so now uh, C in let's assume the initial concentration is 100 in the first chamber and 100 in the outside chamber and now at uh, after time dt the time will be dt so that what we call is that uh, t plus dt and because t uh, dt is constant so I need to put a uh, dollar sign uh, with this number so that will uh, ensure that dt is not changing if I try to grab this series down now c in so for c in i will use the formula which is defined here uh, i need let me uh, grab the differential equation here so i'll say uh, c in uh, is equal to uh, c in at t is equal to t minus dt uh, minus uh, dt so this is dt and I put dollar sign again and then uh, into k dash double dash so k double dash again I put a dollar sign here and then into c in minus c out and now here I'm not putting a dollar sign on c in and c out because the c in and c out are not constant and they will change uh, with the time so I'll put enter here and now here see out let me grab the uh, equations here and I say C out uh, is equal to uh, C out at T minus DT and then minus DT DT which is constant so I put dollar sign here uh, and then into uh, K dash K dash is constant so I put dollar sign here and then into C out so C out is not constant so it will be C out here I'll press enter so now this is uh, what I have now all I need to do is grab this three 
uh, numbers and then drag them down so uh, I need to simulate for long time because I want to go to T infinity and see how does it go so let's stop here and you can see the concentration in both the columns are now approximately or very close to zero so now if I go up I can plot and then this is a plot for C in and C out but as you can see this cu two curves uh, goes to zero because uh, if you look in our model the diffusion is happening from chamber to the open air and open air is a sink so everything will eventually evaporate and goes to air so everything will be consumed so concentration should go to zero that means our model is working however we can see that uh, we can vary the speed uh, here by changing the diffusion coefficient for example now we have k uh, double dash is equal to 1 so if I put k double dash is equal to 5 then the speed is much faster and now if I put it slower like 0.5 then speed is slower like a dynamic model so where I can change the numbers and I can see the results right away and this is a simulation also differential equation I'm not I don't need to use the algebra or calculus to solve this I'm just using a simple method to solve the differential equations and come up with the pattern uh, and with the parameters I can change the patterns here